If he can do it in 60 seconds, I'll paint the uh, Irish flag on my fingernails. On all fingernails, I'll have Irish flag <laughs> on each one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another podcast. My name is Bailey Stanfield, and this is Peace of My Mind, the podcast where sometimes we talk about the UFC on the podcast. I figured with the Conor McGregor fight tonight that uh, me and my friend Patrick would do a fight podcast, and we talked about it, and I think that it turned out well. And without further ado, enjoy this podcast. <laughs> So we've been talking for a little bit, but what's up, man? Yeah, I mean, I just got home from grocery shopping, so That's, I'm ready to go. I just woke up a mere 35 <laughs> minutes ago because I stayed up super I woke late. Up at 7 a.m., so. There you go. It's 3.45. It's 3.45 p.m. Oh, it's 3.45 p.m. right now? Oh, okay. For yeah. some reason, I was thinking it was later. Last night, I watched, I think, well, I had the, the uh, Wikipedia pulled up, but I was trying to watch every single... Conor McGregor fight. Maybe oh, three. just I've I've tried. There's a YouTube video out I mean, there that shows. So there's a YouTube video that shows uh, his first fourteen, all in a row. Yeah. And I watched that one, and then I just uh, went and picked and choose. Yeah, the thing is, if I'm gonna watch all of Conor McGregor's fights, I'm gonna stay clear of Nate Diaz one, and I'm gonna stay clear of Khabib. Yeah. I could have sworn Other he that, fought. I, mean, his fights are awesome. I thought he fought Khabib twice. I could have sworn. I don't no, know why no. I thought that. He fought, he fought Nate Diaz twice. That's how he fought twice. I know he fought Nate Diaz twice, and I think that today's fight is gonna be a little bit of a sleeper. Like he's gonna win in ten seconds, and we're gonna be like, oh, all right. <laughs> it just wouldn't surprise coming. me. <laughs> he's back. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if he just sleeps Dustin in ten seconds. I was, I was gonna make so a, hard, I was gonna make a tweet, that if, uh, cause Connor said that he's gonna do it in, sixty seconds, if he can do it in sixty, 60 seconds, seconds, yeah, if he can do it in sixty seconds, I'll paint the uh, Irish flag <laughs> on my fingernails, on all fingernails, I'll have Irish flag <laughs> on each one, and that'll be it. Here we actually, I'm gonna tweet it. I did that one time, um, for my classes Spirit Week. I painted my nails. Uh, few american colors nice that was uh, i do not recommend doing that in ninth <laughs> i would recommend doing it whenever you feel like it for spirit week <laughs> i'm making a tweet so that i can make it official conor mcgregor wins in 60 yeah seconds i'm going to paint the irish flag on my fingernails and then i'm gonna put the irish flag a bunch of times because that just makes sense that's like my most common emoji at the minute because all my tweets are about connor that's hilarious it's all like devil faces and irish flags except for i gotta make sure that i don't do the ivory coast is irish Green on the left or orange on the left? <laughs> uh, it's green. Okay, that's what I was thought. That's what I was thinking. I, I have, I have an Irish flag, l literally right behind the TV here. But this, what's the uh, difference between monitor? What if you accidentally hold the flag upside down? Well, Connor, when he beat uh, Aldo, he actually held the flag the wrong way around, and I don't know if anyone else has noticed that on my poster. Wait, I'll, I'll show you. Um. It's got the wrong way around. Oh, nice. <laughs> so people are looking at I mean, it. In that moment, like the I Ivory Coast. Care. Yeah, in the it's moment, I'm sure Ivory he Coast just Coast. didn't. It's from the Ivory Coast now. I guess so. Um, but I, I so watching through his fights, did, did you say that you've seen yeah. the the first fourteen video? Um, I haven't seen most of his ones outside of the UFC. I mean, they're quite hard to find. I've seen some of the Cage Warriors ones. But other than those and the ones that are shown in the Notorious documentary, I haven't seen any others. I'm going to share the link with you. Okay. Some of them are so terrible quality, but it's really interesting yeah. because I've he... I've actually got my Notorious documentary here. That looks like it's, it's on like PS4. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's a Blu-ray. Oh, oh, oh. That's funny. Um. Okay, I'll watch... Should I watch the video here and we can talk about it, or should I just watch it later? Watch it later because the the quality is so bad, but it's it's entertaining. He lost his third fight ever, and then his yeah. sixth fight, both by oh he's only ever lost by submission. So it's basically if you just just don't let him fall over, just keep him on yeah. his feet. It's really entertaining though. I I personally think Connor's grappling is underrated. Yeah. I think he actually gets himself out of a lot of positions. Now against Chad Mendez, he kept getting back up. Chad Mendez is the only I'm one that he, to see. he that's the only one he ever bled. He's never bled before except for Chad Mendez. No, no, didn't he I thought he bled against Nate Diaz, or was that just Nate Diaz's blood? It might have just been Nate Diaz's blood. He he gets he's bleeding all over after one punch. Yeah. Well, now I want to yeah, go check so that fight or today for you tomorrow for me. It's at 4 a.m. is when the card starts the main. Card. Are you going to watch any other ones? I'm going to watch the main card, so I'm going to get up at 4 a.m. Might be to 3.30. Because the other guy, what's his name? We'll see. What's the co-main? Uh, Michael Chandler, Daniel Hooker. Daniel Hooker. That's, that's going to be really good. Yeah, that one should be good, too. Um, it's, uh, it's Michael Chandler's first fight in the UFC, so it's gonna be exciting. That's how is it his first fight in the UFC, and he's a co-main card? Because he because he's a Bellator lightweight champion. Mm. Um, mm. I need to find that. You always, whenever a a, a uh, fight card comes out, you always have the picture of all of the fighters standing up or like in a row, and then you circle them. And I can never find that picture. Oh, it's on the UFC post on Instagram. Uh, I don't, they usually post it quite a lot later. I'll, I'll try and find it and I'll send the screenshot to you. Yes, because um, I want to do no, my No, they haven't posted the card lineup yet. Are you talking about how I usually have it for the pay-per-view events? Yeah, where you can like, Online? it's got like yeah. each person's face. Oh, here's a mm. little, this one's got the like first six. Yeah, there's gonna. I'm excited. I'm probably gonna. Are you, so, you mean or the prelims? This one has just the the not the one right the I can't speak the prelims, not the early prelims. Okay. I'm excited for that, and also Connor says he's he wants to fight like four times this year. So I heard he said really gonna. Be cool. He said that he would do seven fights in 18 months if he was scheduled. If, yeah, exactly. Well, to be fair, Connor finishes his fights in a round, and he doesn't take much damage. That's true. If he's fighting people like Khabib every two weeks, or every not two weeks, but every fight, then obviously he'll have longer. But if he's fighting people like Jose Aldo, who he knocks out in 10 seconds, and obviously yeah. he's going to fight a million times. Or like Donald Cerrone, he knocked out in 40 seconds. Yeah. I want to so. see... I was watching because the UFC posts like a bunch of the top blank fights or whatever, and it's like top spinning kick finishes and whatever. And I was watching a bunch. Yeah. But there was top fastest finishes. Yeah. It was insane. It's insane. That Masvidal one against Askren, that's insane. The flying knee. Yeah. Have you seen that one? Uh, no. I don't. I don't know names very well, but there's a good chance I did. I feel like if you saw it, you'd know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure I would. Yeah, I I'm sure I would I'll recognize it. it. I'll share it. With you. Yes, yes. Um, um. I also was trying to see if there's like a correlation between Conor McGregor and long hair versus when he has <clears> his <throat> head shaved. I was trying to find that too. Because he's, he's got no he hair this time. Fight. Oh, wait, no, he has lost fight. Yeah, he's got absolutely no hair. And he almost had no beard in some of his little pre-talking things. I was so scared that was going to be... I, I said there's Scary Connor and there's uh, Creepy Uncle Connor. Creepy Uncle Connor. That's what I referred to him. That's what he looked like. He looked like an uncle. He does. He looks like... He didn't look like a fighter. He looks like uh, he would bring like magic tricks to a party. <laughs> exactly. It's a great comparison. Oh my gosh. 
Here, I'll send you that. Um, you've probably seen it. Let's see. As far as the UFC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, yeah. Like yes, I did. 100 times a day. Yeah. This one. I, I like the ones that have backstory, too. Dead. Yeah, yeah and that dead. one has story because Askren was saying he's just going to maul Miles uh, Vidal. Just looks him in the face as he's on the ground. Maz Vidal. Yeah, there's just so many names in the UFC. So bad. His what? His fight against Usman for the title in July, I think it was. So bad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So boring. Was, I swear, Usman just like took him to the fence and just like stomped on his toes. Do you have? Five rounds. Do you have a favorite type of fight? Like, do you like when it ends early, or do you like when it goes to decision? Uh, I mean, depends on the fight. You know, if it's grappling and it's just kind of moving around on the, on each other, then it's just pointless and it should just, yeah. I mean, it's never going to um, not go to decision in that case. But like a really exciting striking fight that lasts three rounds, like like some of the prelim ones or early main card, they're so exciting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the main card. Like if if nobody knew who Conor McGregor was or Dustin Poirier, yeah. then like I feel like that would be the, probably one of the most boring fights of tonight. I just like Conor McGregor so much that I want to see him win in 12 no, seconds. No, Conor, Conor's going to be really good. He's I don't know, because that's how... like He's promising a masterpiece. The, the Cowboy oh, fight... The Cowboy fight, it was like... It's like all this build-up, and then Conor McGregor comes in, and it's like, oh, 40 seconds. I mean, I guess it was the same thing for yeah. the the uh, Aldo's one. Aldo. Oh, yeah. Actually, they were scheduled to fight before, and then Aldo broke his rib, and then he fought uh, Mendez for an interim belt. Imagine Connor lost to Mendez. Oh, and that was a like throughout the whole thing was brutal. Yeah, Men and I think I love that knockout. That knockout was really nice because mendez had him like in top position like the whole time yeah he's choking him out he was also he's also short he's like five six he's like a little tiny um yeah well i there's this clip i'll try and find it in there it's like a little press conference with uh gregor and mendez and mendez asks so connor keeps calling him short mm -hmm. and he asks connor how tall he is and he goes i'm five nine how tall are you? And Mendez goes, I'm 5'6". And he goes, no, you're not. You're 5'4". <laughs> and he gives bullying his height. I need to watch this, the press conferences for this. Those, those lower weight classes are so... They're so small. And it's I'm so funny. weird, like... so. Like, I mean, Chris Johnson was 5'3". Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, I This morning, I told you to weigh yourself, which is always fun. To see what your weight class would be. I was be. so confused. We're yeah, I know. Conversation and you go, right, just weigh yourself. Yeah, um, I did. Um, I think that I would be in lightweight. I. Well, then I I'm actually so I'm 152 pounds, so I can fight between them, so I can go back and forth. I. Technically. I can never remember. I have to literally search it up every every time. I'm at the. I was 140. Wait, 154.8. So I'm at the tail end of lightweight. Yeah. So what's I think the it's 154 to 156 is what you can be as a lightweight because some lightweights weigh in at 156. Huh. So it must be a like a weight. I mean a, a, a pound. Like leeway. Yeah. There's a little leeway, but not a huge amount. I want to see because I was also looking at boxing. Boxing is so much different because there's like a thousand weight classes. Oh god, yeah. Um, but I think that I was gonna be middleweight. Like One fifty-five in boxing is like a middleweight, super middleweight, or something. There's like super middleweight, ultra middleweight. I don't even know. There's everything has a super. So there's like bantamweight and then super bantam, feather, super Why? feather, lightweight. So I'd be it's like a five pound difference. I would be in between a super welterweight and a middleweight. Oh, and you yeah. would be a super welterweight. 
super welterweight. Super nice. super welterweight sounds like it sounds like the better of the two. Like it's like oh he's super well oh but then you get to the end and there's super middleweight then light heavyweight and then cruiserweight and then heavyweight. Yeah, in the UFC it's uh, it's just flyweight bantam. Uh, feather, then light, um, welter, middle, and then it's just light and and then heavyweight. <laughs> the uh, boxing has one called mini flyweight. That's up <laughs> up to one hundred and five pounds. Mini little flyweight. What's one hundred and five, dude? That's like eleven year olds fighting each other. Yeah, that's just little toddlers. <laughs> what is what's the lowest? So it's like. It's like midget boxing. That they, exists too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm telling you, it exists. There's it's straw hilarious. weight. The, the straw weight is that only women, in women's? That's women. Yeah. Straw weight. That's their one one ten one o five. Huh. Yeah, they're still super heavyweight. Dang, there's. <laughs> Heavyweight in heavyweight. <laughs> in boxing, heavyweight is a uh, or like their biggest class is two hundred and one plus. In UFC, heavyweight is yeah. two sixty five. Just some beefy beefcakes coming in. That's hilarious. I mean, in boxing, there's people like Andy Ruiz, and then in UFC, there's beefcakes like Stipe Miocic and Francis Ngannou. You know? Sometimes there's some just colossal human beings. Flyweight's one of my favorite divisions to watch just because they're much quicker. They don't really grapple as much either. And they don't grapple as much and they kind of fly around more kicking each other. And yeah. It's a bit more exciting. They'll do like... And maybe also just because I've interviewed more of them. That's fair. They'll do like a... Oh, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. I just... Found a picture that I want to copy and send it to you, even though I won't even be able to show it on the video. I mean, I guess I could. Here, I'll just... Could, yeah. I feel bad for everyone who doesn't know boxing and MMA. <laughs> oh, no. Imagine. Oh, no. Love that. Dude, wait, that guy doesn't even look like a heavyweight. He shouldn't be fighting there. The guy on the bottom? Or, like, the other guy that he's fighting? Yeah. Yeah, definitely looks yeah. like there's a uh, weight distribution it's like, issue. It's like Connor filling in for... <laughs> it's like Connor filling in for a, for a uh, heavyweight. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's a fun one. Um, yeah. I can't remember what I was going to say. We are talking about weight classes and... I don't know. It was interesting watching all the Connor fights because you can see how the UFC like changes, and like, mm -hmm. actually, when I was watching the uh, like top UFC knockouts, they had some where they weren't wearing gloves. That's bare knuckle. That's <laughs> MMA knockouts, and that's bare knuckle FC. That's crazy. No gloves. Yeah, I don't like it. It's just nasty. Mm hmm. That's like just. Going up to someone on the street, tapping them on the shoulder, and just smacking just them. Just clocking as hard as you them. Can. At least they, they're trained, yeah. so they know it's coming. But still, I mean, it's still taking a, a, an actual fist to the face. At least, I mean, do gloves make it hurt more, or do they kind of take a bit of the sting out of it? They take because your knuckles are so pointy, so it like rounds them off. But I, it's, yeah. I still have thought that like, kicking's got to be like much worse. Kicking must hurt a lot more. Or like, uh, there's then again, like a what? front kick, just like oh, the God. like heel of uh, your foot up your chin. Have you seen the Adis uh, not the Adesanya, uh, Anderson Silva knockout? Yes. Where he just like he just kicks up the front, and it is like one of the only front kick knockouts. He's just straight to the chin. He's out cold. He's just gone, and that was a a pretty good fight too. Vitor Belfort too. That's He's a crazy. good deal. Um, 
Dude, Prime Anderson Silva was something else. Yeah. He fought Until recently. He fought Weidman. He fought recently and was dominated. He just... Wait, he was dominated? I thought he... Yeah. Man. Uh, no, no, no. Anderson Silva was dying Uriah Hall. He's he's been removed from the UFC. He's um he's no longer in the UFC. I thought I could have sworn I remember watching that fight uh, and I thought that he No, you're right. I forgot about yeah. that. He just it was on Halloween. He got bullied. Bl I mean just bludgeoned. Because exactly. I for I remember at the end he's like a big fan. He's like I'm sorry, man. Mm. He's only one. Now this is this is crazy. So since he fought Weidman, when in 2013 he has only won one fight. Dang. I wonder how that uh, happens. If you remember, Chris. So he fought Chris Weidman. And he and he gets hit and he acts like he's all hurt and he taunts him and Chris Weidman just punches him again and knocks him out. Uh -huh. First fight. So then they have a rematch, and Anderson goes for in in that December and Anderson goes for a leg kick, and it's blocked and his leg shatters. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I do remember and that. Ever since that, is it hasn't been good. He. So, but at the same time, if you look at who he's fought since then, Nate Diaz, Nate Diaz, twenty fifteen, he's pretty good. Um, Michael Bisping, Daniel Cormier, Eric Brunson, who he beat, and then Adesanya, Cannonier, and now Uriah Hall. Sheesh. I'm trying to find the. He's fought some of the best young stars coming up, and Daniel Cormier. Um, yeah, I feel bad for him, man. But him speaking English is actually hilarious sounding. Uh, Anderson Silva? He has a, yeah, he has a super high-pitched voice. Oh, oh, oh. And it's not what you expect from a fighter. Dude, I'm just excited. I, I need to, like, I want to get, like, really into the fight tonight. And I want to, I can't, you're, you said you're only going to wake up for the main card? Yeah, because, well, because that's still 4 a.m. Think about that, 4 a.m. in the morning. I know, but if you're going to wake up at 4 a.m., why not sleep and wake up at 2 a.m. for the prelims? <laughs> that would mean I should go to sleep now. At it can be a sleepy podcast. Nah, you could go to sleep at, if it's 3 for you, you could go to sleep at, like, 8 p.m. And still get a okay, solid so I'm six at hours. The, right now. the prelims... Okay, there's two fights that interest me out of four, and that starts at 2 a.m. Those fights will be around 3, 3.30 a.m., which is when I'm going to get up. Mm -hmm. And then I still get I still get um, Michael Chandler, Dan Hooker. I mean, I don't care about women fights because just, I just don't like it. I like women fights. What? I just yeah. I can't watch them. Wait. The main The main card has six fights on it? No, five fights. Five fights. Uh, did you see the story that came out of the UFC the other, or was it yesterday? The guy that snuck a person into... Uh, what was his name? Uh, yes, yes, Ahmed Izar, Izarar or something. Yeah. He's been removed from the UFC. Yeah, because they originally were going to have him still fighting, but he like snuck somebody in and they have like really strict uh, COVID yeah. protocols. He snuck... No, he cut his wristband off so he could leave the premises classic and he gave it to the person who snuck in apparently climbed across four balconies just to deliver the bag we still don't know what what was in the bag most people say okay it's, it's steroids classic something like that so yeah that's really he was dumb 13 and 0 it was 13 and 0 and he's removed from the ufc entirely yeah he's done dang he's gone. and he's german too he's german sheesh <laughs> Dude, it's really I I thought that the Abu Dhabi fights are always really early. Well, that's for some of them, but um, what they did for Khabib, but Connor's more popular in the U.S. and stuff, so they're putting it prime time U.S. That's fair. And then 
So Connor's fighting at 9 a.m. That's crazy. Or, or around 9 a.m. Th- that in that time. That's so weird. Yeah, that's bizarre. That's like an early morning wake up, and it sounds like baseball. In, in his um, I think it was in his thing with Era Hawani, he said. You know, I'm going to have my proper whiskey toast. Actually, I should have proper coffee toast after I win. <laughs> coffee it... toast goes so morning. Oh, he actually has. So there's proper whiskey and there's proper coffee. Mm. He has a coffee thing, too. I forgot about that because he was doing the 12 days of Christmas on his Instagram where he's saying like really, really bad. But I, I remember seeing that there was coffee. I kind of want to try it. His caption from when the fight was announced is the best thing it was time for another dusting for dustin <laughs> i think it's actually my discord thing i think i, I was just about to say uh, i think i yeah, think you changed that to discord where's yeah. the coffee i want the coffee proper coffee proper coffee they don't sell it on amazon i was looking today because i'm trying to see if my dad wanted to get some maybe but he's got the website is website, right? Yeah. Um, is it proper12.com? Yeah. Or no, properwhiskey.com. Oh, yeah. Shop. I want to see if it's in the shop. Oh, no, it's it just has a location place on where you can buy the whiskey. Milling and mashing. It goes through the oh, whole wow. fermenting oh, before process. I enter the site, it's me set my age. Oh, yes. Well, imagine... I mean, I'm legal to drink, but... Proper iced... Oh, there's recipes. No, he is, so I'll say... Ooh! Four parts coffee, one part whiskey, yep. milk, creamer. Nice. He's got a bunch of stuff. That's interesting. Dr. Proper... Like Dr. Pepper, but that's funny. But yeah, I'm excited. I have some... I was trying to think of uh, any times that I've ever fought, and I don't think that I ever have, like actually like been in a fight, (laughs) but uh, I have two times where I was like... So I'll just go straight into them. The first one was when I was like probably maybe 13 or 14 we were playing football and Mm -hmm. it wasn't really a fight but we were just playing football and i tackled the guy but i like sweeped him like took his legs out and then like threw him down and he i knocked him out accidentally i didn't mean to but i knocked him out like on the ground so i like landed on top of him and then i got up and he just didn't get up and i didn't know what to do and uh i i feel like there was a conversation that me and my friends had But at some point, we just all got up and left and, like, stood a distance away because this kid was, like, he was always angry, just always. So, you're, like, as soon as he wakes up, he's going to be super angry. So, let's just, (laughs) yeah. And then that's exactly what happened. And then he, like, I don't know if he actually got knocked out. I think he did because we were, like, shaking him and he wouldn't get up. But he got up and then chased us. And my plan of action was, like, I th- he, he'll eventually catch up to me. So I let him get really close. And then I like went down on all fours and had him trip over my back. And it was just, it was like a movie. Nice. And that was, that was the only time I've ever you knocked somebody like out. A WWE driver where you stick out your arm and, and like, yeah, let, let him, him clothesline. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. So he, that was the only other time that I knocked somebody out. But the other time that I, it was, we were just like, like play wrestling kind of. But uh, this, yeah. <laughs> we were at a camp and we were in a hotel that had two beds, like two queen size beds and then the whole room. And this guy, uh, we, we were just wrestling and this guy was like, I, he, I can't remember. He did karate. I think he was probably like a blue belt. He wasn't like a black belt. He was like middle. And he's talking about how he could beat any of us. And I was like, I just, I don't know if karate is going to help you in wrestling. So then we were up, <laughs> up on one of the mattresses. And he jumped on my back and I jumped like if the mattress is like or the bed is like two or three feet high. I jumped off of the bed onto the ground mm. with him on my back and landed full oh body weight. Like a, oh, no. And just and I think I 
I think all I did was knock the wind out of him, but I think I won the fight oh and he was talking trash about karate on how he could be. That's exactly what it was like. That's why I was like, I just know for sure. Like we weren't allowed to punch or like we couldn't even like slap box. It was literally just grappling. And then I, that was the only, only time I've ever done that. And then we would do like wrestling. Are there other people in the room? Yeah. Just we had a little kind of watch you jump off. Yeah, it felt like I went in slow motion. Like, have you ever seen uh, uh, Nacho Libre? Yeah. The part where he, he's like soaring and the whole thing is uh, in slow motion. That's what I felt like. I felt like I jumped off the bed and then just fell gracefully <laughs> in slow motion as it landed full body weight on top of him. It's like when you trip, it just feels like everything's in slow motion, like sticking out your arms. <laughs> yeah. and it's like you you process is like, you're like should i yeah. brace my fall with my arm or is that worse and you think all these things through it's like you can look around like is anyone watching <laughs> can you is this gonna be really embarrassing i've definitely slipped down the stairs at uh we had a house that had brick stairs so when it got really cold oh, it would God. it would ice over and i slipped down the stairs and i it felt like that both my feet slung out from under me so at one point my whole body was entirely off the ground before I landed on the ground. But it felt like in midair, I was looking around like people might be seeing. I was like, are there people? I have marble stairs. Um, like that whole, like the whole staircase is all marble. <laughs> so is it super slick and, all the time? Uh, it can be like if we, if we mop it, it can be really slippy. That's why I never try and get trapped upstairs when my parents mop. <laughs> Yeah. Because then I'm just gonna slip. You're just gonna tumble down. But um, so I had a bunch of water glasses upstairs. Um, a couple what was it like a week ago, and I was trying to carry them all downstairs, and I was doing like a lazy man's load. So I had like three in my hand, and bowls in one hand as well, mm -hmm. and two of the glass. I don't know why, but I picked the one with the rounded bottom as a base, uh -huh. and another one, and it and it had a glass in it, and it slipped out. It was like watching in slow motion. It just went up <laughs> it's like... and down. <laughs> and so that one smashed. And then the other one, I was like, oh, my God. And my parents were vacuuming it all. And my dad brings one of the glasses out and he's like, this one didn't break at all. So it was just the bottom one, the big rounded one that just smashed into bits. It went everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Huh. Yeah, I was yesterday uh, I was on a Discord call doing some work stuff and Maitland came in through this yeah. door right here and she had like a glass down at the corner of this bed and she kicked it into the corner and just the mason jar just exploded but I was on a call and I like looked oh. back I like checked to see if she was okay and she seemed fine and she just like picking up bits and then I just went back to my thing but it sounded like she took it and baseball threw it as hard as she could up against like a concrete wall exactly it was so loud. It was like in the mega echo. It was yeah. Just, I swear you could hear it for miles. The sound just rings across. I've also done the thing. I We use mason jars at my house instead of cups. Like we just have mason mm -hmm. jars. And I've definitely dropped one from like high up. And it's fallen and just bounced around and didn't break. It just was like, dun, 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 and it felt like I was watching in slow motion. I was like, it, it's gonna break just watching it bounce around and it just kind of spins around and yeah circles as and then, well when it hits the ground it just kind of rolls around then never breaks um actually we also have championship weekend in the nfl this week too oh that's right and not only do we have connor we have uh packers buccaneers and chiefs bills today or is that today and tomorrow uh that's tomorrow that's tomorrow they're, it's just tomorrow oh they're both tomorrow okay because Auburn also plays today against South Carolina in like an hour Our and a half. Is still in? Uh, still going? Basketball. Oh, basketball. I was about to say like football. I no, thought, no, no. I thought we were just knocked out of that completely. Imagine if football was still in. Um. Oh, yeah, because it's... Yeah, they already played the national championship. This is the first national championship I didn't watch. I watched uh, updates on my phone, but Alabama just... Mm -hmm. just blew them out yeah it's alabama i don't i, um, I feel like the ticket I, sales I are good down at 2 that's that's fair yeah because well, no one can go nobody can go nobody <laughs> likes seeing of course tickets have gone down because no one can go 
if it's if you're yeah, not an exactly. Alabama fan, if you just Alabama watch. Clemson, be fun, but... Yeah. Everybody knew that Ohio Clemson State was going to get blown up. Be... Yeah. Now Clemson has nothing because Trevor's gone. Yeah. That'll that'll just make it where next year nobody. It's just going to be Alabama's going to win. Do what? You think he'll pan, do you think Trevor will pan out? Do you think he'll be good? I don't know. I think that he might be like a um, Tim Tebow situation. Like mm, it, no, because he's probably going to be the one pick. So that's true. Mm, it's difficult. I'm trying to think about who to compare him to. The one name that comes to mind, and if there's any football fans, I'm going to get hate for this, but Jamarcus Russell. <laughs> Interesting. He was, he was out of the league in three seasons. I'm not saying Trevor will be that bad. I just don't think Trevor will be as good as everyone thinks he will be. But he also, his competition has always been the a, uh, ACC, which doesn't have like a ton of heavy hitter football teams. Exactly. Yeah. So it's always... There's going to be a defensive end who goes, cut your hair, Trevor, and just yanks the hair off him. Like Troy Palomalu. Yeah, I'm exactly. curious. He also looks like Judge Jardines, too. I kind of does. <laughs> Got a little bit of Jar Jar Binks in him. Mm. I love Jar Jar Binks. Mm -hmm. My God, he's amazing. A staple character to the Star Wars franchise. Everyone hates him, but I love him. I think he's just funny. Mm -hmm. He's only in two movies as well, right? Yeah, I think so. He's in the first one and the end of the third one, or at some point in the third one, I'm pretty sure. No, he's in the second one for like a little bit. Then maybe he did. He maybe he's got. Maybe well, he has three he appearances. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I was watching my little brother was watching one of his Star Wars videos. Apparently, he was actually blown up in the. He was on the planet in Star Wars Four. And uh, I think that that was just George Lucas saying he's dead. Alderaan, or Alderaan. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the one. Yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. Shout out to Alderaan. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's see. I think that we can wrap this up with a All right. with a uh bold pick like what's what's your your full pick on the mcgregor fight when do you think it'll end and at what second mark actually wrote this down and i tweeted it i'll i'll read it to you i wrote it down in my notes so here we go um so i think in the first round Connor's going to come out flying and he's just going to hit, hit pile on punches but, and he's going to knock down Dustin but D Dustin's going to be able to get back up and the first round's just going to be back and forth just smacking each other. Mm -hmm. And then in the second round I think Dustin will be a bit tired from having to match Connor's intensity and Connor's going to be more intense and he's just going to knock him out like he did against Alvarez. Just that one, two, three out. So you think an early I second round? And like that. Uh, yeah. Like third minute or like three or two minutes into the second round, he's done. You think two minutes? Okay, I'm going to, I'm writing that what down. Do I, oh God. I also think, uh, even though I really want it to be a first round, I think it's going to be second round, but I think it's going to be in the within the first minute of the second round. And for the same reason, I think that I don't okay. I don't think they'll end up on the ground at all. I think that they'll cuz neither of them are very good on the ground. So I think that it'll just I don't know. So I think that first within the first minute of the what if it's a submission? That's what I was thinking like what if Connor just shuts everyone up and he just goes straight at him and just like just Gu guillotines him out like out cold he's only ever had one submission i can't remember who it was oh dave hill it was in cage warriors yeah that's right <laughs> um dang i don't know if i want to go with that i would laugh so hard because i guess you also don't usually have a submission in the, within but the first imagine minute twitter yeah no mm. unless you're figueredo figueredo i'm gonna all right i'm gonna say at the exactly at the forty-two second mark of the second round, that's gonna be my my guess. Okay. Written that's down. Oh wait. I'm also, in a 
and it just won't kill me. How do you, what do you I, think the way is going to, do you think it's going to be knockout? Oops. Yeah. You think knockout? Knockout. KO. I also think it's going to be knockout. Um, yeah. I just can't, I can't imagine it would actually be a submission. A submission in the late second round would, be, would be sick. It would be amazing. I would, I would, I would laugh so hard. Um, if Connor loses, I'm going to be attacked on Instagram, on Snapchat, because I just rant all the time about Connor. Judging off the last fight. And also on TikTok. Off the last fight, I don't, Dustin had no chance at all the whole time, the whole 40 seconds. Yeah, in, or a minute and a half. slow order. starter, too. Yeah, so if, if Connor just, just comes starter, in swinging. He go around the, just comes in, lands a knee, and, and that's it. No, I'm kidding. And then the end. amazing. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited, though. It's uh, 12 hours from now. Or at least when the, well, the car really, starts. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. It'll be late. It'll be 6 a.m. ish for you. Maybe later. Sometimes when there's. <laughs> is there. There's five. It'll be 10 a.m. For, for Connor. Yeah. There's five main cards. Or, yeah, main card fights. So that's going to be. That seems so yeah. long. There's only two prelims. Four. Four prelims. There's oh, two there's two early, early prelims. prelims. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting. I'm excited either way. Be exciting. On. Yes. I'm very excited. And the thing is, when are you going to post this? Uh, in just a little bit, like probably in like an hour. Okay, cool. Because the funny thing would be if you post it on Monday and everyone would be like, oh, well, your prediction's wrong. Yeah. They're like, hey, by the way, you were wrong, <laughs> even though I know that you already have seen... No, it'll that's be... the thing with some of my interviews, I have them predict one of the fights that's coming up that weekend. And then um, I've gotten messages like, dude, why would you ask that question if you're not going to post it that day? You know? Yeah. That's... Just like... So this is definitely going to go up before the fight. All right, sweet. I just hope I'm so excited see it. for the fight. I am too. I sent, I sent you my um, Team McGregor picture on yes. messages. Yeah. It's a great picture. Um, took me ages to get it. I've like, you can see um, hundreds of different <laughs> pictures with the flag. Nice. I'm gonna and do. I settled on one. I need to do a thumbnail picture. Yeah. Thumbnail picture. Ooh. I'm gonna have to come up with what it a little bit. What kind of thumbnail are you going for? I gotta have Conor McGregor in it. I'm gonna have me screaming. I'm sure. Let's go. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to figure it out after this, but it'll be good. we got to get everyone to subscribe to the Patrick McCoy Sports Show. Yes, everybody go follow Patrick. It'll be in the description down below. Oh, I've got interviews coming up, too. I've booked some. True. Um, I've got an NFL player, and I've got two UFC fighters. So nice. stay tuned. And I, I'm from them on like three straight weekends, too. Dang. Got them so booked. Booked. That. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad this fight's after my exam too. True. Wait, are you completely done? Um. Well, these are the mock exams. Mm. These aren't even the actual ones. It's more to see. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm here. Um, I still need to study math. So before the actual exams in May, let's do an in-depth study on mathematics, and then that makes sense. So it's like a see where you are and go into the report card. And then you, oh, okay, I, I yeah, that makes sense because then you can see what you need to work on. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I also forgot to mention that you're yeah. wearing a. So yeah, they're done. You have a Fight yeah. Island hat and a Conor McGregor shirt. Yeah. I I don't have any well, UFC stuff except for I have a. One of the full send, UFC collabs from the Nope Boys. Oh. Okay. So I still have... That logo's cool. That, it's sweet. That first logo that... Yeah. But I only got it because I was like, dang, this is a pretty big collab. Full send by UFC. And I just got it. Otherwise, I don't have any other UFC merch. All right. And I think that that wraps up this podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Uh, if you like these podcasts and you like them on this channel, let me know. We'll keep recording some of these. You can check the podcast out down in the description below. It's on iTunes and Spotify. And I know that there's other apps out there that play podcasts, but there it's, it's everywhere you can find podcasts. But that's what I got. Do something nice, somebody. Peace out.